Me and my homies love the Hardy Boys. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! <gasps> Cutscene? What is this? What was I that? I swear that was blood dripping. It is, oh. it is, it absolutely is. I'm spooked. Deirdre, girl, that was not Deirdre, bad. you can't flirt with me like this. My heart is already beating so I fast. I have something to cheer you up. All right. That is Adam. the only jump scare that's ever been in a fucking name. Nancy Drew game. Do you remember Shadow at the Water's Edge with that um, uh, yeah. doll? That, like, ma- ma- mannequin thing? Mm-hmm. I have things. So, like, okay... I don't Help think with breakfast. <laughs> I, I don't think it's it was just a nightmare. Yeah, I don't think it's the tea, Adam. <laughs> he says it's the tea, I but I don't think tea. so. Also, he says Deirdre is bae. Um, That's true. Sorry, I can't be her. But, yeah, here we are. <laughs> and that scary, <laughs> scary ghost that face. Was, I, really do think, I really do think that was just like, oh, wait, hang on. I don't sorry know. that we had all, <laughs> sorry you guys are mic'd up for our scream. <laughs> I want to um, look at the ceiling above the bed. Because that was definitely, like, I saw water drip. Right, it's like we saw something. <laughs> Nancy's well, like, it's not. No, we're good. There's nobody dying. No blood. Is there any blood in the bed? Is there any blood on my face? Is there any blood <laughs> up my... End of my sentence. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, let's go help with breakfast. I like this little music. <laughs> so peaceful. It was just a dream from the tea. You're a dream from the tea. Oh! The um, Hardy Boys, and also everything's on fire. fire. What did they do? Guys? Hey. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Not good. Not oh, good. he loves oh, it! <laughs> oh. What are you guys doing in here? Deirdre, there's one for each of us. <laughs> Forget Ned. Trust me. Accomplished. Nancy, hi. Joe was just uh, I love making you, an effort. I like his little hoodie jacket. I know. That's <laughs> what that smell is. I tried showing him the ropes, but he wants to prove he can do it without my help. <laughs> this how they like fire alarms exist. For Johnny cakes before she had to run, but I got to admit, it's been a while since I last whipped something up. I love you so much. <laughs> I can see his roots. He's not a natural blonde. Of course not. His twin brother is a brunette. I don't know that they're twins. I thought one was older than the other. Oh, yeah. All right, Hardy. Sure looks 17. Well, they're kids. Fire on our hands. I just want it to be known that I would die for the Hardy Boys. Can I not chat with y'all folks? I guess not. That's my uh, it's our quest. It was help with breakfast. It's still help with breakfast. I don't know what you want me to do if I can't click on you. Oh, okay. Oh, oh! I love we get to cook. This is Johnny Cakes recipe. Step one: one cup of sugar, one cup of sugar, two tablespoons of sugar. This can't be right. I told you I couldn't keep up with her, so I improvised. I'm 100% certain about the amounts, though. Let's what? approach this sensibly. What do we need? But we need flour, sugar, salt, and baking powder. Right. Okay, so he doesn't know what the amounts are, but he knows the ingredients. Right. And I don't know what Johnny cakes. Are. No, he, he. Yeah. So I think, I think the idea is that we have to like. Okay, we can scrub out the bowl. Check the flour. Okay. Cornmeal. Sugar. How old's Nancy Salt. Drew? Uh-huh. They're like can't be more than like high school age. Yeah, they're all high they're school. They're all age. like sixteen, probably. Okay, we don't need cornmeal. She's Why like a is girl that detective here? to throw us off. Mm. Flour. Um. One spoon of. Oh, okay. This I was is thinking, a I think basically what we're gonna do is we have to like kind of guess at the recipe. Flour. Yeah. And we know yes, the ingredients that we need this. to use, and we know like Get the amounts better. that we can select. I put flour in this bowl, and Deirdre was like, what the fuck? That's not food. And I'm like, I've been here for two seconds. <laughs> One spoon of flour. I want to say I trust you. They're <laughs> all judging me. Well, because I guess that's not um, that's not the correct measurement, right? So let's but, grab out the bowl real quick. Let's start over. I don't understand. Okay, so we have, we know that we need. Maybe it's sugar. 
You don't need to write it down. It's literally right there. I like to write it all down. Sugar. Looks right to me. Okay, okay, okay. They're gonna give us feedback. Yeah, so we did one spoon of sugar. One spoon mm -hmm. of sugar. I think you've got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So two tablespoons of sugar. Mm -hmm. Then I'll write that down. Big That's what I'm like fire. trying to do, I guess. Salt. Flour, sugar, salt, and baking powder. Okay. Salt's probably the one. smaller one, yeah. but I think we have an order we're supposed to go in. Do you think? Yeah, because when I put the flour in, they were like, you're an idiot. Well, that's because I think you put, like, a spoon of flour. It's probably a cup that we need to use. Oh, my God. I didn't realize these were cups. Flour. Looks right to me. Right. I didn't realize it was like that. Okay, so the cup of flour. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you think baking powder is the s tablespoon? Yeah, because I can't imagine tablespoon of salt going into anything. Of you said, I said baking powder. Okay, yeah, 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 you're right. Yeah, because again, I can't imagine the tablespoon right to me. of salt. And then so a teaspoon of One salt. teaspoon of yeah. salt. We're getting there. So now we have one cup of something left over. Do right. you think it's flour again? Probably. One cup of. Because that's all the ingredients, right? Was salt, yeah. baking powder. I want to say I trust mm. you. Okay. This makes me a bit worried. Well, what's the other thing? Mm. This doesn't look right. I mean, those are the only ingredients that are in it. Okay, so. Flour, sugar, salt, and baking powder. So it's not three cups of or two cups of flour. It's one cup of flour. One cup of flour. We're getting there. I'm solving your Jimmy Cakes puzzle, Johnny Cakes puzzle, Johnny Cash puzzle. One spoon of. And we know that for was sure sugar. Baking. Sugar. Looks right to me. One spoon of. It's not on the recipe list. Sugar. We're getting there. See? Right, and he says that he knew the ingredients for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we just. One salt. Of salt. Salt. We're getting there. So now we have. We need the. I already did the baking powder. God, everything's just white, so I don't know what I've done already. Try, we, um. Last time we used two spoonfuls of sugar. I did that. Oh, you already did that? <laughs> we used a cup of flour. Mm -hmm. We did our tablespoon of baking powder. So now we have a cup and a spoon left. Do you think it's just more. Because when I did two cups of flour, they didn't like that. Try but it won't fit in the sugar bowl. Do you want to try it anyways? Mm -hmm. One yes. cup of sugar. I want to say no. I okay, judgment, cool. So they don't like that. This has me a bit. Okay. One flour. I think you've got it. One teaspoon of baking. Do you expect us to eat? Wait. This? Oh, because you use the teaspoon together. instead of the tablespoon. The teaspoon. Oh, that's salt. for the salt. Yeah, sorry, my bad. Yeah, you're good. You're One good. spoon baking powder. That was weird. One spoon baking powder. I think you've got it. One salt. I think you one flour. I think you've got it. Thank you, Joe. You worthless POS. Then two tablespoons of sugar. One spoon sugar. I think one spoon sugar. I think you've got it. And then we just have a cup left and they it's not flour. Why don't I just go ahead and try the cornmeal then? One cup Fuck it. Cornmeal. I think you Oh, okay. It. So the cornmeal is the is cornmeal. A, yeah. Looks great. Oh bye, Andrew. The next step. Sorry for doubting you, Adam. And bye, Andrew. Oh, there's more steps. Second step. Oh, fuck. Okay, hold on. <laughs> One cup. The weight is just right. Quick heads up. This is about where things started to go south last time. Okay. Hey. Let's just trust that Nancy knows what she's doing. Nancy, the domestic goddess. When I was exercising, when did this turn into a baking game? Yeah, we actually put on a uh, cooking mama. Yeah, we got tired. <laughs> um, okay, do you want to write this down? Okay, so milk, eight ounces of milk. And it's supposed to be the right weight, Zero. but I don't know what that weight is. Five. Oh, it's gonna be math. We're gonna put the milk in, and then we have to do the math about how much ounces it adds until it added eight. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> like I was just egg question. Mark? Egg. And then vanilla point two. And a dash of nutmeg. How much? A dash of what? Nutmeg. Okay. Um. Uh, um. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so let's start with eight ounces of milk, right? Let's just go ahead and pour some shit in there. It just says milk on it. 
Okay, but now it's eight on the scale, right? Okay, what was it before? I don't know, zero? <laughs> <laughs> Why did you keep me <laughs> Oh well, we're bad at this. Let's just right. we'll throw it shit out. in the thing and not care. Okay, so that was how much of multi butter point five. Yeah, whatever. I'm just throwing the shit in here. I don't care. I don't care. I'm done. This doesn't look. I'm not done. This out and try again. Okay. I want to, to do. Explore. Okay, at least we don't have to start all the way. Okay, it does start at zero, and okay. it, it can only go up to eleven seven. Okay. So we have to get it to eleven seven using the measurements we know and then figure out what the other measurements are. So I want to see how much an, an, one, one nutmeg is. Nothing. Okay, dope. And the milk is eight. Mm -hmm. The butter is... Is point point five. 0.5. Yeah, that's already... We don't, okay, let's see how much the egg is. Um, the egg is uh, one and a half. Okay. So then, wait. Okay, this isn't... This doesn't end in a multiple of five. I mean, yes, it does, but like... We don't have anything that's only 0.3. You know what I mean? No. Oh, okay. I I'm sorry, I was like half listening. I did a bad. We have to see, we don't have 5, 6, 7. We don't have anything that's 0.2. Yeah. Let's just add um, a fuck ton of nutmeg. nutmeg. <laughs> Until it starts showing up. It, no, you can't have more okay. than one nutmeg. What's that little packet? It's the vanilla. Can we add, did we already add that? It's 0.2. Oh, I'm so yeah. dumb. Okay, well then. I'm. Oh, wait, no. 0.6. Right. Let's scrub this okay. Try no, 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 no. Don't try again. No, no, no. I'm just gonna have more. No! <laughs> okay. He's like, these idiots need a lesson. Vanilla twice is 0.2. Yes. I'm not smart. This doesn't look right. What? Let's what is the right size? Oh, I forgot the nutmeg. <laughs> <laughs> I darn it! Let's start with the nutmeg. I'm gonna fucking end my life. Okay, uh, I forgot him. Okay. Now. That looks great. Oh, yes. Okay. The they sat there so silently while well, we <laughs> fucked that up so bad. I used an entire dozen eggs. Finally, my favorite part. I thought your favorite part was eating. Uh -huh. I hate both of you. Next favorite part. All right, timing. Don't flip the batter raw. Be, Be ready, ready to, to flip, flip when steaming hot. And don't bring the cakes. Sure thing. Okay, Joe's in charge of pouring, which was probably not a good idea. Oh, okay, okay. He so, just did it. Okay, so we need to flip them when they steam, but not before they get too brown. Okay, yeah. So now. One. Yep. Okay, cool. That's good. It's like a, a Cute. An, an experiment in remembering which one was dropped first. Oh, that one's a little bit. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, that one was too, too, too. Get. This is going great. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. Joe. Joe, I'm suffering. Oh no! Oh, how many do we need? There's too many people in this house. Too many cooks in this kitchen. I'm trying to flip it. Okay. Okay. Did we do it? I think so. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Why did I open this? Let's see. What? What is this? This one looks fun. Oh, the recipes. No, I don't want to do. I don't want to. Do, I don't want Johnny cakes coming up. What? I don't want to. Why I don't want to. That? I don't want to make fifteen Johnny cakes. Too many cooks. Too many cooks. Why are we making more? I don't know. It was the only I'll thing I could it. click on. It. No, it's already going. Uh, it's too late. Just hit him in the middle. It's timed. Okay, this one is less chaotic than last time. Like, must we pour one immediately after the space <laughs> is cleared? Like, this feels like, like, you might think it's efficient, but how difficult it is makes it inefficient. Almost done! Shut up, Nancy, I'm gonna beat you. <laughs> Only a few more. Okay, so I guess okay, can I please done. stop? Like these sometime. No, you don't. Okay. Spooky. These are just what I imagine Olivia would like. Okay, it just made me do it twice for some reason. Achievement unlocked. Breakfast. Okay. Ooh. Aww, the gang's all here. Friends. Yay, cutscene. Ooh, these smell delicious. Are they like Great just fucking pancakes? Yeah. These look amazing. But with cornmeal. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. <laughs> May, these are the Hardy brothers, Frank and Joe. We're very interested in your case. Uh-huh. They're good friends of mine. They're going to help us with the investigation. The more people we have working on this, the better chance we have of solving the case. Cool. <laughs> God. Me too, May. <laughs> Everybody's like, okay. You need to learn how to cook. Yeah. Maybe let Frank teach you. Otherwise, how are you going to impress anyone? Solving crimes impresses people. Aww. <laughs> so does committing them. Deirdre, what the heck? It's true. Deirdre just wants to do crime. I love it. I'm impressed by that. Just stating a fact. I prefer someone who possesses a deep intellectual appreciation for crime. For crime. And table manners. <laughs> you want to be impressed? We should finally show her our business plan for our new business. Oh, <laughs> business plan but for our new business? It's very businessy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm obsessed with these guys. <laughs> The Hardy well, Brothers. Joe and I have been talking recently about making things a bit more official. Since we're always called to solve crimes, we thought that maybe we should start getting paid for it. <laughs> Hell yeah. We're starting our very own <laughs> do crime for Deirdre. License, insurance, the whole thing. Stop simping and for Deirdre in the chat. We do enough of that. Stop talking to her in the cutscene in chat. <laughs> you'd be interested in being a part of Hell yes. Yes, let's quit school. Hey, table that. All right, Drew. Why not update everyone on Deirdre's where we're jealous. At? She wants to be our crime-solving partner. I was gonna say, why didn't they ask her? It's so rude. They're like, Nancy, we were wondering if you would be our partner, not you, Deirdre. We know you do the same thing, but you're not up to our standard. Well, I guess you're wondering about the thing I mentioned. Yes, sounds super exciting. I already <laughs> told them about the whole sighting. Yeah, I can't explain it yet even with the most modern scientific techniques available there are many phenomena that we still cannot explain i believe what you saw was real joe i would kill and die for what? you mm -hmm. what sure some sort of combination of gaseous blow-off and light refraction no supernatural a ghost a real mm. ghost with thoughts and memory and agency oh i'm not so sure <laughs> i'm really I love how he I describes the ghosts. So I'm glad he's being nice to it. I'm sure it's nothing, but we'll go to the cemetery today and investigate anyway. Maybe we can add ghost hunting to our detective services. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. I wasn't. I <laughs> right. I'm like, yeah. I just want to state for the record. You're wrong. I'm so aggressively. <laughs> I'm so team, team Joe. Joe. <laughs> like Joe. First of all, he's dressed better. Right. He's just better. He's what is a vest for? Drip. Vests don't do anything for you. Like, Frank looks like an idiot. Frank looks like he doesn't know if he's hot or cold. He looks oh, like an idiot. My dad loves vests. My dad's an idiot. <laughs> Joe, he's got the dyed roots. The, the hair. He looks great. The outfit. Hoodie with the denim jacket combo. He knows what fashion is. And he's sympathetic towards the ghosts. Ghost. He talked about their agency. He tried to cook for us. Yes, he did. That was attempt. nice of him. Mm -hmm. He rolled up to our house this morning and was like, What's up? He's I'm Joe Hardy. I'm gonna make you some. And most cakes. again, most importantly, he's validating our experience. Nancy's like, I saw a ghost, and Frank's like, maybe, maybe some gas. Saw blah, 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 blah. And Joe's like, you saw a ghost. ghost. That's right. Anyway, I'm so we are firm simping for Joe. Joe. <laughs> <laughs> it's Massachusetts. You're hot and cold all the I've time. I've not been to Massachusetts. I don't get the joke. <laughs> Team Joe. If it's all gonna make T-shirts. I prefer to handle this. You were gonna look into the history of ownership of the Hathorn House, right? Yeah, sure. We can go together. Uh, no. Why? It's better if I handle this solo. I'm a whiz with microfish. Don't ask me why. Microfish? Sounds like a story. <laughs> Just like that. And I'm not going to tell it to you. Okay? <laughs> okay. This is so. so... Nancy, okay, hang on. What do you think we should focus on for the investigation? Ooh, do you get to answer your question? Yes. Ooh, I do want, want them to focus. We on can send them off to focus on the person breaking into the evidence room, and then we while we focus on house stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Judge Danforth mentioned that he was the victim of a burglary. Why is John not looking at us? <laughs> it was stolen. 
Joe was just simping for Nancy. The judge was working with Tegan on developing a case He's for the for witches organization. Rights. <laughs> for women's rights. What? The descendants of the accused witches of the 1692 Salem witch trials. They're staking a claim to the Hathorn estate due to unjust dispossession mm. and execution of their ancestors. It's one of the reasons I search for the Book of Apologies in Austria, as it contains a record of wronged families. Someone swiped it right under my nose. And around the time of the arson, there was a burglary at the judge's office. Yep. Dope. Too coincidental not to be connected. That's exactly what I was thinking. Yep. Me too. I'd like to review the crime scene for the the same page. for any clues. The judge might not let you do that. He didn't sound very forthcoming. <laughs> Maybe my father can convince him. May's been They're real quiet. Friends. I can give him a call. All right. What else? Okay, we're just gonna tell them about both things. But what I want to say to you mm -hmm. and to our audience. Uh, also, is Tabitha still there? Right, <laughs> we have Tab two viewers. Hey, Tabitha. Tabitha <laughs> if you're still there, say something. Our number one fan. Someone suing for family members for 1692. Well, anyway, what I was gonna say is that the thing that like they're trying to push kind of like a Joe Deirdre thing with that whole impressing someone, right. but also them talking to each other just comes across as like a lesbian and a gay guy, like just not <laughs> being able to communicate. Right. Like they just do not vibe. Like it's so, like, I don't know if you're getting that vibe too, yeah. but when she, he was like, sounds like a cool story. And she's like, and I'm not going to tell it to you. I'm like, twink. He's trying to make friends here. <laughs> like, it's very funny. Aww. Anyway. I like it. I love, my, I was gonna say, my favorite NPCs. <laughs> Deirdre and Joe. I ship them into like an anti relationship. Yeah. I want them to not go out. I, I ship that. <laughs> Cute. I ship them not going out. And then I'm obsessed with May in real life. Mm -hmm. The arson that happened last week. Now Joe's looking at us. And we haven't had the chance to collect any alibis yet. We need to ask everyone we've met where they were on the night of the arson. They're gonna be like, you're not the police. With whomever they were with, will help bring into focus who is and isn't a suspect. Yep. We need to figure. I like how when you're not talking, they all just stare at the milk. Connected to this case. Theft of what? The book of apologies. My dad asked me to retrieve it from Mosan Castle in Austria as a favor for Judge Danforth, who works here in Salem. It details all the victims of the witch trials, some of which are still unknown to this day. However, this book was stolen as well, three days ago, when Nancy was there. Didn't we, like, just say this? Why was this book yeah. all the way in Austria? That's Great where the dude lives. Question. The resident historian told me the judge who wrote the book will all his to be yeah. preserved by whichever museum would have them at the time. That must be how it ended up in an Austrian castle, for safekeeping. Well, that certainly didn't stop the thief. No, that right. was our fault, kind of. I can ask around about alibis during this time period as well. See if anyone in town can't be accounted for. It might point us in the right direction. I have something to add. Whoever is responsible for this crime is going to great lengths to cover it up. We don't know if these people are dangerous. Remember that. No. And be careful. No. Oh, come on. I just want to say... What? I was just about, <laughs> the thing about Frank is that I do love him, but I also feel like he'd be, like, in class, like, let me just play devil's advocate. <laughs> like, that's the vibe that Frank gives. Here's the thing about... Here's the thing about this. May woke up this morning and I had two teenage boys at her house that she had never seen before ever. And she was just like, who are these guys? And they're like, we're here to help with the investigation. Can you imagine coming down the stairs and like your sister has just like, she's sitting at the breakfast table eating breakfast with two people you've never seen in your life. Just two handsome teenage boys you've never seen <laughs> in your so life and your parents aren't home. And it's like, and you're like, okay. And you take a seat and right. eat breakfast. I like how just like the number of guests keeps like multiplying. I know. Like, literally double by the day. Tomorrow, I hope that Bess and George show up. <laughs> <laughs> Ned shows up, and he's like, can I put this somewhere? That's what he's like. <laughs> I want to put my pumpkin somewhere. Can we put it on the steps? No, I don't know. Hey, girly. Hey. Are you feeling 
any better about the case? Nope. Who are you texting? Do you have friends? I'm going to find out who did this May. I promise. You She's on Twitter. So. Who, Tabitha? Oh, oh no. <laughs> but now we, I only have, Tabitha. we only have one viewer in the chat now. Uh, if it's Adam, say hey. It is. wasting your time. You said you used to hang out at the Hathorn house, right? Uh-huh. Did you ever see anything strange when you were there? Like ghosts? Yeah. No, never. Oh, okay. <laughs> She's like, oh, I'm insane. Okay. Do you feel ready to talk about your alibi? There's the Mona Lisa. You don't even have a passport. I don't go anywhere, so I wasn't in Austria, if that's what you're thinking. And on the night of the arson, your alibi would help you so much. <sighs> Tell me there's a good reason to suspect you, but no one can say why. Isn't it obvious? I've got a burn mark covering the entire side of my face and like most of my arms. It must be me. I'm sorry that happened to you, and I'm sorry if people judge you for your burns. I prefer it to pity. Would you tell me what happened? Kind of telling Nancy to There pity, was a fire. I was in it. I'm not trying to pry. It's just that so far, the main cause for suspecting you of the Hathorn fire seems to be this previous one. I only want to understand. I was nine. It was an old shed, and I wasn't supposed to play in it. It was kind of a den full of stuff, like candles. I got stuck inside. You can work out the rest. Mm. So it was an accident. You were just a kid. Harsh to suspect you now because of something you didn't mean to happen. Don't make me talk about it more. Mm. Yes, I am. Okay. Thank you for telling me, May. Okay, so we got that alibi. Yeah. Sort of. Yeah, we don't know more about, like, the... The... The, uh... Shed that supposedly burned down. Like, why is it full of candles? I still think it's that pic that coven picture. That would probably, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. I probably shouldn't be. Okay, we. If it, I was just wanted to see if we could ever enter, and the answer is no. I guess not. until until we can. Which I don't think sometime we can. Sure. I don't think we can. I feel like she's always gonna be sitting on that chair. Also, what are we supposed to be doing? Just getting people's alibis. Uh, just several things. Okay. We're getting, we can do several things. We, we still have a can of rust being on from a hundred years ago. Oh, yeah. Up off the when we just grabbed things and when we were stealing. And we can use Deirdre's car because Deirdre's off looking at records for us.